Hey, 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 how you doing, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing great. It is indeed reaction time again. You goddamn bahis. <laughs> this week, we are watching Mike Mangini. Easily one of the best drummers in the world. If you haven't seen this video before, you're gonna leave saying, holy shite. What's even cooler is that this drum solo is 20 years old. So keep that in mind as well. It's gonna blow your calf. And today's video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. Light, sleek, and industrial. This thing will change your life. It's very small and it's designed to fit in your front pocket so you can get rid of that big bulky wallet that bulges your back pocket. Durable high quality, RFID blocking, and it has a lifetime guarantee. Probably the last wallet you'll ever need to get. There's over 30 colors and styles to choose from, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. Actually, look at this thing. It's the size of a credit card. It's two metal plates bound together by a strong elastic band, and as you can see, it's very easy to put cards in or take them out. Did you know that people are still using wallets that were designed in the 90s? Come on. Most of you have upgraded your damn smartphones. Think it's time for a little wallet love, yeah? Let's take a look at the ridge next to my old wallet. <laughs> look how much smaller and thinner it is. Like I could probably fit like two or three of the ridge inside of this. <laughs> you can fit up to 12 cards in it and still have room for cash on the outside strap or clip. These wallets are so good that they even give you a 45 day money back guarantee. If for some reason you don't love it, you can return it, no problem. But you probably won't need to do that. I mean, just. Seriously, look at the reviews on their site. There's over 30,000 five-star reviews. Visit ridge.com slash 66samus and use my special code to get 10% off and free worldwide shipping. It's great! All right, are you guys ready to have your calves blown out by Mike Mangini? Let's fucking do it. What do we have here? Yes! I think this was Stimko who, who put this up. This is the drum solo where, where Mike Mangini Mike Mangini wrote Bleed by Meshuggah, and we're about to witness it. All right, let's watch this. Just wait for it. You guys are going to hear Bleed. You're going to hear Bleed. It, it, he doesn't do much of it, but he does it for a couple measures. That's it. That was it. He's fucking playing bleed. He's doing it. He's doing bleed. One more time. That's bleed. Okay, maybe he puts an extra snare in there. He's doing the halftime with the snares, but that's fucking bleed. And he throws polyrhythms in it. He does bleed with polyrhythms at the same time. Like bleed itself is already a polyrhythm and he just added another one to it. We're not worthy, Mike Mangini. <laughs> and he's smiling. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, he's getting dynamic with it now. He's got a little side snare. I, dude, I love how he has the tiny little, the tiny little nipple tom. I think that's like a six inch tom he's got there right in the middle. It's so tiny, teeny tiny, but it sounds pretty good. Yeah. Dude, his polyrhythms are so creative. You know what? I bet if he wanted to, Mike Mangini could probably do the fastest blast beat that anyone's ever heard. Didn't he set like a world drummer, a world's fastest drummer record one year at NAMM? I could have sworn he did. Stimco, wait for it. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Keep the arm up. <laughs> Listen to that six inch Tom. Okay, never mind. I have seen this part. This part is fucking disgusting with how fast his hands are. Just watch. Wow. 
What fucking tempo is that? Hold on. That's like 300. Because this is like 148, right? That's like half of it. Dude. Mike Mangini doing a blast beat at 300 BPMs. When was this drum solo recorded? I don't know if it says. It was probably in the 90s, right? Alive in Steve Vitor. Dude. Yeah, God tier. This is this is God tier. If you want to know what God tier sounds like and looks like. <laughs> is that a gravity blast? You, we can't even see what he's doing. But he has one hand on the snare right now. Is he doing a gravity blast? Show us, show us his hands, goddammit, Mr. Cameraman. N not his feet! I want to see his hands. <laughs> I want to see what he's doing. It's got to be a gravity blast, right? That's got to be a gravity blast, dude. That's so fast. <laughs> Rhythm Magazine. Dude, I love this guy. Dude, this is... Ugh. I think Mike, Mike Mangini might be the greatest drummer to ever live. I don't know, man. Yeah, okay, here we go. The finale. Sit down. Do you guys even know what he's doing? It's like we're really hard to comprehend that what he's doing right now because of how fucking fast it is. But he's doing foot. Or he's doing uh, tom foot, tom foot, tom foot, tom foot. Like it's it's a very weird way to do. It's, it's technically a Portnoy feel because it sounds. It still sounds like Fred Flintstone starting his car, right? But he's doing Tom Foot, Tom Foot, Tom Foot, Tom Foot, Tom Foot, Tom Foot. That's like, I've seen Eric Marotti do that really well too. It's just, it's I've never really tried to do that fill really fast before, and that's that's hard, dude. <laughs> dude, yeah, linear fills, you call it. Dude. <laughs> it's so good, you just want to laugh, dude. It's so fucking good, you just have to laugh. I don't know, man. Mike Mangini might be the best drummer in the world. I, I don't know. That's, that's just... That's just like... I would say it's, it's not fair, but it's probably fair because... Guarantee Mike Mangini took the time to work on so dude like I, I'm just blown away when I see that shit Steven Rael thank you for the super chat Mangini is the goat greatest of all time and I might I, I can't disagree right now after watching that video I'm not sure if I've seen another drummer impress me that much like I can't even find the words to say when I have diarrhea every day. That wasn't even relevant to what we just watched, but there it is. Man, that was fucking nuts. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. It's funny, the uh, emotions I feel after watching that. I feel extremely inspired, yet at the same time, it just makes me want to quit because Mike Mangini is from another planet and his skills cannot be matched. Far superior to humans, no doubt. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Big thanks to Ridge for sponsoring. Remember guys, use my code on their site for 10% off. 
I hate saying goodbye. I love you guys too much. Sex? Okay, fine. This concludes our broadcast gape.